Today we're running through our top five board game stocking stuffers for this holiday season. And to help me run through that list... Hi everyone! It's Brittany! And I'm Mark Maya, and this is it's Board Game, game Coffee. Coffee. Before we start with that list, I'd like to remind you all about subscribing to our channel. It's the best way to keep up to date with everything we do here at Board Game Coffee. And if you're already a subscriber, welcome back. Our goal today is to help you out with your holiday shopping. Do you have that loved one that's a board game fanatic and you just don't know what to get them? Well, today we're going to cover the best games that fit in their stockings. Our number five suggested stocking stuffer is. Mini Diver City. Now, Mini Diver City is, um, it's a game where you actually play with your cards facing outwards toward the other players, and you have to work together to save the sea life from evil corporations that are trying to move in and destroy the coral reef. Mini Diver City is a one to seven player game, which I really like because you can play it in a big group. Yeah, and, but one thing to keep in mind, although we do have a lot of fun with this game, Mini Diver City is extremely hard, even on its easiest <laughs> setting. Yeah. It's kicked our butts many times. I think we've only won once. But it's so <laughs> satisfying when you do win. It's true. <laughs> we think Diver City is a great family game, but it is a little challenging, so we suggest that you modify it. We have a review video actually on Mini Diver City, so if you check the description below, we'll have the link if you want to check it out. Now let's move on to our number four suggested stocking stuff. Now our number four game is Citadels. Now Citadels is a lot more adult oriented than Mini Diver City. Mm -hmm. Not that there's, you know, sex and violence in it. It's just, it's a card bluffing game and it's a drafting game. So, and your goal is to try to read other people and figure out what characters do they want and then take that character away from them or what character do they want? And you play the perfect character to screw them over. So this game is really easy to teach, but it's hard to master. And I think it's because it really depends on who you're playing with. So Mark had mentioned it's a bluffing game. So it depends on which group is there with you that day. Do you really know the people that are at the table or are they new to your group? And maybe you don't know how they bluff. Yeah, and then here's the thing about Citadel. It plays, it plays great with big groups, but personally, Anything more than three, and it stresses me out. Three seems to, for me, is the perfect number. But I can, I can see where a lot of people would like this with bigger groups, because mm -hmm. I can see the fun in it. But for me, I, I'm, I'm not very good at reading people, so it stresses me out. Three people's my max. Yeah. Then I start getting in my head, and then I go crazy. I'm bluffing games you, you're terrible at. <laughs> All right, <laughs> Let, let's check out our number, number three, three suggested stocking stuff. And our number three game is Hive Pocket. Now, Hive is a funnel game, as you can hear. And it's got I always a, just want to shake it. <laughs> it's got hard little pieces. Now, it's like little tiles. Here. Can we take it out? Yeah, let's see that. So yeah, if you see... We have bugs. Yeah, they're little insects. That's an ant, and there's a, a ladybug, and a, and a beetle. Mm, now, nice weight. Yeah, let's toss them back in the bag. Alright, so now, Hive Pocket is kind of like... It's a, it's a, it's a really thinky game. It's kind of like chess. Yeah. Right. Except there's no, you don't start off with a board because that's the entire game is the pieces. So think of chess, except all you get is the pieces. And as you place the pieces, you build the board. Mm -hmm. And a player's goal, each player will have a queen bee, and their goal is to surround the other player's queen. And they move like depending on the insect. Each insect has, has like a, a different like a different move pattern. Like yeah. in chess, where there's like the there's the, the knight. castle and the knight yeah. and the queen. And... Well, they all have different rules of movement. Same yeah. thing. Very same. same with hive. Uh, and I like that we can play this game anywhere. The first time we played this game, we were actually out and about at somebody's trailer for, oh, yeah, that's for right. the weekend. We were so, like in the middle of the woods. And that's why I think when we see the bugs, we feel itchy because we were actually itchy from being bitten by mosquitoes. And it's <laughs> and it's a really durable game, like because yeah. there's no paper parts on this game at all. Mm -hmm. Which is really nice too. So if you're in an area and it might be able to get wet, you don't have to worry about a thing because it's all tiles and it will be fine. Technically, you could play this game underwater. All right, now let's go see what our number two suggested stocking stuffer is. Now our number two game is actually our teeniest, tiniest stocking stuffer. 
And that game is... Love Letter. <laughs> now, Love Letter is, is not new. It's really popular. Actually, specifically, this is Love Letter, the Batman edition. Now, there are other Love Letter games, and the original is not the Batman version, but they all play very similar, at least from what I've heard. I've only played the original and the Batman version, and uh, personally, the Batman version is my favorite. Not only because I like comics, but, uh, you know, screw it. It's mostly because I like comics. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you have a person you're buying for, and they like comics, and they like board games, then I would strongly suggest Love Letter, Batman Edition. Now, uh, Love Letter is its an interesting game because you only have a max of two cards ever in your hand. Um, your hand is usually made up of one, and yeah. you pick up a second card, and then between those two cards you have to choose what to play. Mm -hmm. There's eight different cards, each card does something different, mm -hmm. and what you're trying to do is either knock everybody out and be the last one standing, or be the player with the highest valued card by the time the round is over. Yeah, and I like this one too, again, because it's easy to learn, and I actually found like, we were laughing a lot during this game, because you're trying to psych someone out, or you're trying to guess their card, and it's just like, it's fun little things like that, so there's a lot of interaction when you're playing yeah. the game, and it's super portable, so you can play this game at a restaurant, which is really fun. Yeah, it's funny, I, I, I've done that, I've actually played this at yeah. restaurants while waiting for my food. Because it's, it's super quick to get through around. And it fits in this little yeah. bag, so even if you don't finish it, you just toss it on the bag, it's fine. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah. Oh, and, it's really inexpensive. Oh yeah, that's true. So if you're looking for something that you just want to top off that stocking stuffer with, it's a perfect game. Or if you do like a workplace secret Santa, yeah, this is a super easy, fun game, and it'll, it'll be it under is. budget for sure. Yeah. All right, now let's go see what our number one suggested stocking stuffer is. <laughs> Fun fact, our number one stocking stuffer for this holiday season has made a guest appearance on a previous top five list. Specifically, top five competitive games for couples. Yep, and we'll put the link in the description below. It's, it's one of our favorite videos. It's one of the most fun ones we did. But anyways, yeah. let's get to it. And that game is... Tiny Epic Galaxies. <laughs> now, Tiny Epic Galaxies is, there is a lot of strategy in this tiny little box, but if you know like a gaming couple, like us, this is a perfect stocking stuffer. Yeah. Your only real, sorry, your only real question is, whose stocking do you stuff? Oh yeah, that's true. This game you really can play more than two players. However, we really like the fact that it plays really well as two and it really highlights the competitive side and since we're super competitive, we love this game. And fun fact number two, Brittany has never beat me in this game. I beat you one time! We've gone over this in previous videos. <sighs> Brittany's never beat me in this game. Not yet. Whatever, I still beat him one time. That Moving on. Never happened. <laughs> well, this is our number one, but you know what? You know what? Just because we like you, <laughs> we're gonna throw in a, a bonus. bonus stocking stuffer. Yeah. All right, now the reason <laughs> this isn't a top six list and it's a top five list is because our bonus game, I guess our number six game, is not yet released as of the recording of this video. Now, it'll be available online, but depending on when we put this video out, we don't know if it is. <laughs> so, we wanted to give it an honorable mention and put it in our bonus stocking. And that game is... Doxy Dash. It's the perfect size for a stocking. <laughs> it is, and it's adorable. Yeah. It, Doxy Dash is adorable. Yeah. And I gotta say that before we even get started in what Doxy Dash is, if you're a dachshund owner, you know, the little wiener dogs, then you need this game in your life. Yeah. It's too cute not to have. Now, Doxy Dash is a uh, drafting game where you, like most drafting games, you pass the cards around and you pull cards out and you try to make sets. And each set is worth a certain amount of points. And the more 
of that set you complete, the more points you get. Mm -hmm. And there's also like uh, bad guys, like the vacuum cleaner and the mean old lady and uh, the badger. I think mean old lady is considered the stranger. <laughs> but you can defeat them and get points for that too. Mm -hmm. We actually have a whole overview video on this game. If you want to check out the description below, there's a link for you if you're interested in just checking it out. And we'll also put the link to the website if you are interested in, in getting something like this for a stocking second. Yeah, so that's that's the entirety of our st sorry, suggested stocking stuffers yeah. for 2018. <laughs> and we hope you enjoyed the list, and we hope that if you buy any of the titles we recommended, that the person whose stocking you stuffed with any of these incredible games appreciates how good a friend you are. And we'd like to end this video with wishing you all a Merry Christmas. And Happy Holidays. And if you like this video and you want to follow everything we do here at Board Game Coffee, subscribe here. And if you want to watch more right now, check this link out here. And if that's not enough, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I'm Brittany. And I'm Mark Maya. And, and this, this is, is Board, Board Game, Game Coffee. Coffee. And remember, have fun, keep gaming, be social. See you next week.